Hello and welcome everybody to this Fabric Espresso. I'm joined here today by Philip, which means we're going to give you some more goodness on fabric. Now, remember last time we talked about the scenario, we're building a lake house with fabric. So let's head over to the site and talk about the topic of today. As you can see here, we've got all these different components in here. We're, we'll cover them all, like shortcuts, uh, one lake, lake houses, lake warehouses, Power BI, all that stuff that's in there, the data factory, the data flows. But today, we're actually going to talk about the thing that spans across all of this fabric solution as uh, one lake. And Philip will talk all about it and tell you what it is and how you can use it. So one lake is a single unified data lake for an organization. So far, organization had to create uh, different storage accounts for different departments um, and, and basically manage them. And that was a nightmare. Now with the fabric, there is only one one lake. So it's uh, it, so we know where the data begins and ends within the organization. It's that single one lake, just like um, Word and Excel stores uh, documents in a OneDrive, uh, the fabric stores uh, lake houses, warehouses and, and other data items in, a, in one lake. So as you can see in a picture, we have a warehouses, we have a lake houses, but this one lake is actually open, meaning that uh, it's built on top of ADLS Gen 2. Uh, it implements the, the big part of its API, meaning that you can use tools that you already got used to. Like you can use Azure Storage Explorer to access the one lake. You can use um, other services that are capable to communicate with the ADLS Gen 2 as well. They will communicate with one lake perfectly well. There are some rules that we'll speak about a bit later, but in general, it's it's a storage for all the tools. Benefit of having a, a one lake is and the fabric is that now not only all the data is uh, at one place, but also the data is in a common format. Default format for a fabric is Delta format, meaning that no matter what engine you use, data will be in Delta format. This allows the um, other engines, other analytical engines within the fabric, as well as any other tool you may have to read that data and benefit from the one lake and the fabric. So imagine that you'll have data engineering team that will uh, use Spark, uh, do some magic, cook data, curate the data and store it in a lake house called Customer 360. The other team that is that got used to T-SQL can use a T-SQL to read the data, transform the data, and do whatever they used to do. And finally, you can use a Power BI or, or AS to, to read that data. Uh, in a fabric, we, there is a direct lake mode, meaning that Power BI is capable to read the data directly from the lake without going through the analytical engine. But if needed, Power BI can fall back to um, reading the data through the engine by sending the complex queries. Seems awesome, Philip, but like, what does this look like? Uh, do, do you have an example? Yeah, let me show how you can use it. Here we have a fabric workspace called Fabric Espresso and some items in it. I will go through these items and different type of uh, items in the in next episodes. Now let's focus on one lake house that I created for the purpose of this uh, episode. What you see on the left side is an explorer, is literally explorer on top of the one lake, meaning that this structure is to be seen in a one lake um, storage. And I will show that in um, Windows Azure Storage Explorer as well. So how do I find the URL for my storage? I will go to the properties and I will copy the path. I will now move to Windows Azure Storage Explorer. So here we have Azure Storage Explorer that I attached our one lake storage to. And you can see that the items we saw in the UI are here. Um, in one lake, we added a naming convention. So basically you see a name of the item in the UI dot item type or artifact type. In this case, we have a data warehouse and the lake house. And in the lake house, you can find those folders and tables that, that you saw in the UI previously. So that basically means that one lake is that one glue that's across this whole fabric experience that we have. One lake is there for warehouse, for lake house, for all the little bits. One lake is actually your one place you're going to have your data across the old fabric uh, workspace or just a fabric uh, installment that you have. Now, 
Um, if this was the first time you're visiting our channel and you liked the video, just give us a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about the topic of today or anything you want to see about One Leg, just write them in the comments. We'll definitely get back to you or even make an extra video specifically for that question that you have. And if you've liked the content that you've seen, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got loads of fabric and also science content on this channel. As always, from the Sign of Suspense team, this is Stan and Philip. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.